guys, the question we're going to solve today is simplify 2x plus 3y minus 4 multiplied by 2x minus 3y plus 4. Now, multiplying the two expressions may look like the most obvious approach here, but is it? Well, no, because it is tedious. What do we do then? I think there's a catch here. If you look at the terms in the two brackets, then they're all the same, except the signs they're carrying. If we take the negative sign out as common from the last two terms in the second bracket and group the last two terms in the first bracket, then this is how the expression will look. Do you think now the expression maps to an identity? The first term in both the brackets is 2x. Let's call it a. The second term in both the brackets is 3y minus 4. Let's call it b. Therefore, this expression is of the type a plus b times a minus b, which equals a square minus b square. On substituting the values of a and b in the identity, the given expression simplifies to 4x square minus 3y minus 4 the whole square. But this is not the final solution. We have to simplify 3y minus 4 the whole square further. To do that, let's apply the identity a minus b the whole square equals a square minus 2ab plus b square. Hence, the final answer is 4x square minus 9y square plus 24y plus 16. Here, we saw the importance of rearranging expressions to apply suitable identities to then simplify them. But remember, rearrangement is not modification. You cannot change the original question ever. And if you want to get better at this, well, keep practicing. That's all for today. See you next time.